Okay, so behind us is Hotel Mio Vallarta. When we were looking at booking accommodation in Puerto Vallarta, Hotel Mio, they kept popping up as one of the options available, but there's not many reviews. We thought, you know, we'll try out this hotel and we'll give it a proper review so that you can make your own mind up for yourself. So we're gonna stay at the Hotel Mio Vallarta. We will give you a, an honest report on it. Located right on the highway and it's located next door to the Hotel Fiesta Americana. Which a lot of people know that, that's a big hotel. But this is the Hotel Mio from the outside. It's an 11 floor, 11 story property. Here's the original architect's model of the Hotel Mio. And it shows, uh, you know, a boat and, a, and some wharfs there. Well, it's not on the water, so don't let the model fool you. And they've got parking here at the hotel. If you've got a car, they have a parking garage underneath the hotel. Every time you jump in the elevator, you've got to have your room key, put it on the thing, and press your button. You need your key to go. Long, cool corridors. Okay, here's our room. We are eighth floor. I think there's like 10 floors, maybe 11. We're room 814. Let's have a look at what the room is like. So we've got, this is a standard room. It's got two large beds. They're probably queen size beds. Two queen size beds. There's a bit of a table. Flat screen TV. And I'm assuming we have a fridge. Yeah, there's a mini fridge. There you go, that's always handy to have in Mexico, a fridge. And then the room consists of wash basins. That was a really, it's a huge shower. Wow. Yeah, that shower is really big. And a toilet. And we get a balcony. Let's have a look at the view. I walk slowly so the camera can adjust. There we go. There we go. So, well, we do have a view of the ocean because there it is over there. So you could call this a, a partial ocean view. And then we look northwards. This is looking north towards the airport. And a hotel next door with a pool. We have a pool at this hotel. It is on the roof. So we'll look at that later once we do the full tour. But yeah, there's the balcony. And let's head back into the room. And there's Rhonda. I beat you. I beat you. Can I even carry all the luggage off by myself? No, I did not. Ooh, I know he didn't. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the standard room at Hotel Mio in Puerto Vallarta. There's not that many reviews or information about the Hotel Mio online, but from what we've seen so far, it seems to be a nice hotel. And it is adults only. There's no kids allowed at the Hotel Mio. It's adults only, so... But it's a nice big size room, eh, Rhonda? Yeah, and I think you can do all-inclusive here, can't you? You can do all inclusive. You can, if you yeah. want it all inclusive, if you want it but to. you don't have to either. Exactly. And, Rhonda, the air conditioning, how is it? Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, I'm man. dying. It, it was hot journey here. It is beautiful in here. Air conditioned, yeah, that's awesome. I don't know if this is the same on every floor, but we're on floor eight. And just outside the elevators is an ice machine, which is nice. 
come from your room and grab ice, but there's also this water dispenser. You get cold water, chilled water, or you can get caliente. You can get hot steaming water for tea or coffee. The margarita bars on the roof where the pool is. And one of the reviews I read online talks about the elevators being really slow. So it's mid-afternoon. I'm going to take you up to the roof and we'll see if the elevators are slow or not. We're on floor number eight. Okay, so we're going to put the card on and press the button and she will work and away we go. The elevator has neat little screens. It advertises uh, things happening in the hotel, what's happening up at the pool later. It's quite technologically advanced, the hotel. The elevators are pretty fast. So I'm heading to the roof, uh, floor 11. And here we are. Let's have a look outside. It's pretty nice up here. There's a pool. Lots of sun loungers. The pool looks so inviting. And there's a rooftop bar. I'm sure we'll get some use out of that later. all the way around the outside these are like queen size lounger beds these look cool and the view is pretty nice I'll go above the glass and the pool I don't know if it's warm or cold we'll tell you later we'll probably go in there later but it's definitely busy definitely popular here's the menu at the margarita bar. We've got martinis for 120 pesos. We've got wines. They range from 120 to 400. Mojitos, 150. Chacama and cucumber salad, 109 pesos. Nachos, shrimp ceviche, tacos. They've got quite a good selection. A club sandwich, a house burger. The burger's 230. So I can't leave the pool bar without having a beer. So I decided to get a uh, draft beer. They do draft here. This is a Modeo Especial. So that cost uh, 55 pesos, which is pretty good, I think. It's a good size. Rhonda doesn't know I'm having a beer. She thinks I'm up here just videoing, but hey, how can I walk past the bar in the hot sun? I've worked up her thirst just taking this video so here goes cheers it's really nice up here the the breeze the wind is so cooling up here down below at road level it's really scorching hot today but just being on the roof being this much higher 11 floors up you can really feel the breeze and it really cools you the sunset tonight here is going to be amazing you need a towel for the pool they give you towel cards with your room and you just come and hand in two cards and collect two towels or one if you're by yourself I'm sorry I am a wimp before I get in any swim pool you got to do the obligatory hand test Wow that is 
warm, like not even cool. That is warm. Here's the view from the rooftop looking away from the ocean towards the mountains. I think they're called Sierra Madre Mountains. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think that's what they're called. Okay guys, I know it's weird to film in the bathrooms, but the Hotel Mio Viata rooftop bathroom, this is the men's side. I want to hang out in here. It's got a view. It's a washroom with a view. Look at this. Absolutely fantastic. A view of the mountains. The rooftop pool at night is a popular place to hang out at the Mio. Look at the pool. It's, it's beautiful, it's not too busy. No, very coolly lit up. People still swimming. The water is really, really warm. And there's lots of empty seats at this time of night. Most nights they have either a live band or they have a DJ playing. The reviews at this hotel speak about, a lot of them speak about how comfortable the beds are. Well, they are. We've got a couple of queen size beds. We've got the uh, cotton sheets, big fluffy pillows, comfortable mattress. Another complaint in the reviews is that there's a lot of road noise well, there is. The main highway is right outside the hotel, but you can hear it all night. If you're a really light sleeper, you don't like noise, it's probably going to bother you, maybe, but didn't bother us at all. Not at all. Not at all. We don't mind a bit of noise, and uh, yeah, we just had a great night's sleep. The room has blackout curtains, so it was really nice and dark in here. Yeah, we'll take a look outside the window. You can see uh, down below how close the highway is. So that's where the road noise comes from. But like even now, I can't hear anything. So I'm going to try the shower. Another complaint that I've read on quite a few reviews is that the shower water is not hot and the pressure is pretty low. Well, I can confirm, I'm just about to jump in the shower. You can see the steam, red hot water, and lots of pressure. So absolutely no problem with the shower. Absolute thumbs up for the shower. Red hot water if you want it. Tons of pressure. The shower's absolutely huge. So the breakfast restaurant is just a short walk down the hallway from the lobby. The reception. So some room rates include breakfast. Otherwise, if you don't have breakfast included, you got to pay. I think it's about 17 US dollars. And then you get access to the breakfast buffet here. Show you what there is. We don't uh, have breakfast on our stay this time. But there's fruit, your normal kind of light buffet, I guess. But there are some hot stuff. There's some hot dishes. And an egg station so you can get omelettes and stuff made. And then juices and milk and cereals. And right outside the restaurant, 
There's also a coffee machine, which is for uh, people having breakfast. This is where you get your coffee. Or it's for anybody else that's staying in the hotel. So in the morning, you can come down and grab yourself a coffee from this machine. Okay, got my cup. Let's see how easy this works. We got Americano and Espresso. Let's go for the Americano. Well, it smells good. There we go. Smells good. It's scorching hot. They have a business room in the hotel. So you can get uh, internet access. Although, the internet service up at the room is amazing. It's really, really fast internet. I'm very impressed with it. If you make your way down to the first floor, you'll find a gym. Right outside the elevators of floor one. So let's have a look what's in the gym. The view's nice out of the gym. Wow. This looks nice in here. There's air conditioning up here. They've got little uh, towels on each machine. A little towel ready for you. And the view as you're on the treadmill, very nice. So they've got one, two, three, four treadmills. Two ellipticals. A bike. And weight machines. And also free weights over there, so that looks pretty good. Thumbs up for the gym. Yeah, the location uh, is not great. It's not beachfront. Hotel Mio doesn't front the beach at all. You've got to go through uh, another hotel to get to the beach. Uh, if you're going to go anywhere else in Puerto Vallarta, you've got to get an Uber or a cab. And it's easy to get an Uber or a cab or even a bus. There's a bus stop. Uh, right opposite the hotel. So today we're going to find the beach access route from the Hotel Mia. It's not on the beach, but you can access. They have a, an access agreement with another hotel next door, I think. So we're going to ask the reception and then we're going to use the walkway and see how easy it is to get to the beach from this hotel. So to access the beach, you come out of the main hotel entrance, the hotel's just behind us. You turn left, walk 20 yards along the hotel frontage. And the Hotel Mio doesn't have its own access to the beach, but the hotel next door, this one, Friendly Vallarta, it has beach access. And it has a, an agreement with the Mio that Mio guests can access the beach through the hotel. So we'll try that now. You do need a wristband to be able to go through here. But we're going to go through. I don't even know what the beach... We don't know what the beach looks like. We haven't no been there yet. No idea what to expect. Hopefully it's a nice beach. So we're just walking through the main uh, driveway entrance to the Friendly Vata Hotel. We actually haven't been asked for our Mio wristbands yet. But I'm sure we will be at some stage. And then we're going now, we're approaching the main entrance to the Friendly. Well, we don't know which way the beach is once we're in this hotel. Nope. <laughs> but anyway, let's head on up. Looks like a nice hotel, doesn't it, Rhonda? Yeah, it does, actually. Nice reception area. Yeah, cool. Maya Sunshine. 
this way left. Definitely this way. So we'll just walk through main reception. And yeah, well I can see the ocean, so the beach has to be this way. It is, walk way down. But we actually didn't get asked for our wristbands. But we have them with us just in case. Yeah. We don't We're not doing anything wrong. <laughs> no, we don't want to cause any issues, but we thought we'd just try walking through without showing the wristbands just to see if we could get through, and we did. I love the gardens, all the greenery, that's nice. Yeah, the hotel looks nice. Well, it's a shallow pool. <laughs> Yeah, they got a outdoor pool down and a here. Section. The Mio's pool is on the roof. This one is at ground level. They have a lifeguard. Oh yeah, that's good and safe. And it looks like there's another pool at the front. All right. A Co golf pool. A couple of hot tubs. Hey, this is. Becoming a review of the friendly <laughs> Hotel Vallarta. <laughs> We're doing the Mio, not the friendly. It's an adult pool, that's cool. Oh, yeah, adults only. That's pretty cool. And then down this last ramp. And the beach is right there. What? Here we go. And here we are, on the beach. It, it probably took uh, three minutes, four minutes, Rhonda, to walk from our entrance at the Mio to get to the beach. It is busy. I don't know if we want to go on the beach. No, I don't. But anyway, that's how you access the beach from Hotel Mio. Obviously, being a Hotel Mio guest, you can't use any of these sunbeds or any of the facilities here, but you can walk to the beach, you can access the beach, bring your own beach towels and stuff, and yeah, within four minutes, you're on the beach, so pretty good. So if you want to grab some groceries, supplies, drinks, whatever, when you're staying at the Hotel Mio, you got to cross this highway, come out of the main entrance to the Hotel Mio, turn right, and then you're going to wait for the gaps in the traffic and cross this big crosswalk. Traffic doesn't stop for you, you've literally got to wait for gaps. When you're across, you turn right, and you're going to walk to this uh, shopping centre, it's about 100 yards away, and this is the... Caracol shopping center and you can see the Soriana Hyper that's the supermarket over there so you can head over there get some supplies for the room that's the main entrance to the shopping mall this is quite a quite a modern place I didn't realize there was going to be all these uh, shops in here. I thought it was mainly a, a grocery store, but no, there's all kinds of other shops. There's the crane grab machine. These are all over Mexico. Little gambling machines, and they're really popular. It's a hypermarket, it's huge. So it's got everything. Fresh fruit and vegetables. There's a salad bar, there's some hot food. Chicken wings, pizzas, cold salads. Alcohol. Hola! Hola! So we have completed 
three night stay at the Hotel Mio Vallarta. We read all the reviews before we booked it. Most of them weren't good, but the reviews were very far and few between. So we thought we would stay here, check it out for ourselves, and tell you guys what we think. The Hotel Mio Vallarta overall, Rhonda, overall, overall, would we stay here again? That's hands the question. down. Yes. No questions asked. Definitely. Guaranteed we would stay Guaranteed. at the Hotel Mio Vallarta again. Yeah. It's classed as a four or five star hotel. It's really nice. Yeah. The facilities are great. The rooftop swimming pool is the best facility in this hotel. It's a fantastic area. Yeah. The only negative about the rooftop pool is the music can sometimes be a little bit loud, a little bit too techno. It always seems to be techno, and we're not really yeah. into techno, but if you like techno... We're too old for techno. Yeah. But <laughs> if you like techno... You'll love it. You're going to love hanging out by the pool. The yeah. sunsets up here by the pool. You've seen it on the video. The sunsets are absolutely spectacular. And it's always breezy and windy up here. If it's hot down below, it's nice and breezy and cool on the roof. Yeah. So I think, you know, overall, fantastic stay. We would wholeheartedly recommend you to book the Mio Vallarta. The traffic noise that people comment about. Yeah, you can hear loud horns and loud traffic when you're in your hotel room. But the regular traffic, you don't really hear it, and it doesn't bother us anyway. And it's not always horns all the time. Just now and again. And not through the night. We don't hear traffic through the night. Like not you haven't heard a horn yet. <laughs> exactly. We're, we're on the rooftop doing, yeah. the, doing this final video now, and you can't hear anything up here. It's quite silent. So I wouldn't worry about the traffic noise. As far as people saying it's not near the beach, it's in a very isolated area. Sure, it's isolated. Uh, I don't know if I say isolated. Well, isolated in that you can't walk to a lot of things, but you can taxi an Uber very cheaply. Downtown, Romantic Zone, Old Town is 15 minutes in an Uber that way. But there's tons of restaurants and shopping, everything around here that you will yeah, need. There's, there's definitely still stuff to do around Absolutely. here. Absolutely. We've walked all day today. There's a shopping mall just across the road that's great. There's a big supermarket. Beach access, people comment that it's not beachfront. But you saw in the video, you just walk literally one minute next door to the Hotel Friendly Vallarta. You can walk to the beach, you can yeah. spend the day on the beach, yep. come back. It's a five minute walk to get actually onto the sand. No issues at all. So overall, Big thumbs up for the Hotel Mio Vallarta. Yeah. We would stay here again. Yeah. We would recommend it to people. And yeah, let's finish off our stay with a drink at the rooftop. Definitely consider Hotel Mio. We have loved our stay. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on this video. Like, subscribe to Glenn and Rhonda. And we'll be bringing lots more videos to you real soon. Okay? And if you want to know when we post them, hit that bell. Don't forget to hit the bell. Cheers. Cheers, everybody.